And now we are turning to outer space. The Catalina Sky Survey is a project down in Arizona that uses telescopes to find objects in the sky like comets and meteors. And last month, one of the team's astronomers became just the fourth person in history to discover this asteroid, an asteroid before it broke through the Earth's atmosphere. She also is thought to be the first woman to ever make this discovery. And the coolest part is she grew up right around here in Dixon, Illinois. So earlier, I got to sit down with the history-making astronomer to find out just how she spotted this asteroid. I am so excited to introduce you all to Jacqueline Fazekas, a Dixon High School grad that now lives down in Arizona and is busy making history. Jacqueline, thank you so much for being here with us. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right. Can you tell us about the object that you discovered? What was it? So it was an asteroid that impacted Earth, uh, technically it impacted Earth's atmosphere. Um, I was working one of my normal shifts at one of our survey telescopes. Um, how it normally works through the night is we take images over the sky um, and we look for moving objects. So if they're new objects that haven't been seen before, we submit them as potential new objects. Um, and then we follow them up over time and narrow down their orbits. For this particular object, um, as soon as I submitted the data, we got back an alert right away that there was a 25% impact chance with the Earth. So these alerts go out to all the telescopes all over the world. Um, and a whole bunch of telescopes went and followed it up. And over the next few hours, we were able to narrow down the impact chance to 100% and also narrow down the location of impact. Where did it impact? So it, it burned up in the atmosphere over the Philippines, um, Luzon Island, I believe. Okay, so just to get this out of the way, no one was hurt, no, <laughs> nothing was damaged. <laughs> no, uh, it was totally harmless. Um, we say impact, uh, but impact could mean um, Usually it just means impacting the atmosphere, not actually impacting the ground. So it, it really hit the atmosphere and then it burned up. Okay, can you put this into perspective for us? Uh, we were talking earlier, you've been at your current job for about two years now. And to become the fourth person ever to do something within two years, I mean, this seems this seems wild. Oh yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. Um, we we know going into the job that you know we can find some cool things. Uh, we find comets all the time. Some people find really cool comets that make close approaches or can be really bright. Um, so uh, someone on our team actually discovered a mini moon. So we're no strangers to the possibility of you know having your name attached to things, but. Impactors are something that we've only started being able to discover recently. Um, so to find something like this, only being here for a couple of years is, it's really crazy. I, I really don't want to diminish uh, the work that you did and I'm, I'm struggling to find a better word for this, but is this something that, again, I don't mean it this way, but was lucky or, or how did this happen? Yeah, so it's, it's, it's a balance um, because, you know, there is the element of you have to be the observer scheduled at that telescope on that day. You have to be observing the right part of the sky because um, it's very easy that we might not discover something or someone else would discover it. So there is that kind of element of chance. Um, but then there is a lot of technical training that goes into what we do. So, you know, to be able to get the images back and determine that it was a moving object, it's a pretty faint detection. Only three other people who have done this before and a couple of them have three impactors that they've discovered, which is awesome, so. That's so cool. So before I let you go, uh, what is your message to any anyone, but especially young girls that are watching uh, when it comes to blazing a trail and breaking records and making history. <laughs> yeah, so like I said, there is a bit of an element of chance in discoveries like this, but you know, the biggest thing I wanna emphasize is that anyone can do this. Um, so, you know, I just happen to be interested in space and to go to school for astronomy and get a job in astronomy, but it could easily have been any one of the other members on our team to make that discovery. So. For me personally, it's just growing up in the middle of nowhere in Illinois, finding this job, getting to make some cool discoveries that could really happen to anybody. So if, you know, if there's things you're interested in and you 
have the passion and the desire to make it happen, then you can definitely make some cool discoveries like this too. And for those of you just joining us from Playoff Baseball, that woman you just heard from is from Dixon, Illinois. She's an astronomer now living down in uh, Arizona, and she just became the fourth person in the world to ever discover an asteroid before it broke through Earth's atmosphere. Jacqueline, of course, says asteroids like this don't get named after the people that find them, but if she discovers a comet, then her name would forever be attached to it.